As Huawei's founder Rin Jingfei said, we are not here in Europe to grab money, we are here to create value in Europe. As a leading company in China's 5G technology, Huawei faces unprecedented challenges and pressures in Europe, but at the same time, it demonstrates unwavering spirit and innovative capabilities. 5G technology is a hot topic in today's world, bringing enormous changes and opportunities to various industries. However, the conflicts and tensions between China and Europe and the United States in this technological race are intensifying. This video will analyze Huawei's challenges and breakthroughs in Europe and its impact on future communication technology from the following aspects. I. The rise of China's 5G technology and the reactions of Europe and the United States from 1G to 4G, the standards and development of mobile communication technology have been dominated and controlled by European and American countries. China started relatively late in this field, but after decades of relentless efforts, it has gradually narrowed the gap with Europe and the United States, even surpassing them in some aspects. Especially in 5G technology, China has built the world's largest and most advanced 5G network, possessing rich 5G patents and technologies, providing strong support for the digital transformation of various industries. In this process, Huawei has played a crucial role. Huawei is the largest telecommunications equipment supplier in China and the world's largest 5G equipment supplier. Huawei started investing in 5G research and development over a decade ago, with a cumulative investment exceeding $40 billion, owning over 3,000 5G patents, accounting for over 20% of the essential global 5G standard patents. Huawei's 5G equipment is not only technologically advanced with outstanding performance, but also reasonably priced, easy to install, and has gained favor from many countries and operators worldwide. However, European and American countries are not optimistic about the rise of China's 5G technology. On the one hand, they are concerned about losing their dominant position in the field of communication affecting their economic interests and political influence. Just like Qualcomm in the 3G and 4G eras, leveraging its patent advantage to collect high patent fees, promoting its own and the United States development, they are unwilling to see Huawei play a similar role in the 5G era. On the other hand, they also worry that Huawei's 5G equipment will threaten their network security and information security affecting their monitoring and surveillance capabilities. Therefore, they have taken various measures to try to hinder and suppress Huawei's 5G business in Europe, even pressuring their allies in other countries to ban or restrict the use of Huawei's 5G equipment. Point 2. Europe's attitude and policies toward Huawei Europe is Huawei's largest overseas market and an important competitive arena for 5G technology. Europe has many developed countries with huge communication needs and market potential, as well as many traditional communication equipment manufacturers such as Ericsson and Nokia. Europe's attitude and policies toward Huawei not only relate to Huawei's survival and development but also affect Europe's 5G progress and competitiveness. Under strong pressure from the United States, Europe's attitude and policies toward Huawei have shown differentiation and changes. Some countries, such as the United Kingdom, France, Sweden, etc., have chosen to ban or restrict the use of Huawei's 5G equipment or require operators to gradually replace Huawei's equipment. The decisions of these countries are largely influenced by the United States, considering their own political and security interests, as well as their relationship with the United States. However, these decisions have also brought many negative impacts to these countries themselves, such as increasing the cost and time of 5G construction, affecting the performance and coverage of 5G networks, damaging cooperation with Huawei, and even triggering legal disputes and public protests. Other countries, such as Germany, Italy, Spain, etc., have chosen more open and flexible policies, 
allowing or not excluding the use of Huawei's 5G equipment, or giving operators the right to choose. Independently, the decisions of these countries are more based on economic and technical considerations, reflecting their trust and respect for Huawei, as well as their independence and resistance to the United States. These decisions have also brought many positive impacts to these countries themselves, such as reducing the cost and difficulty of 5G construction, improving the quality and efficiency of 5G networks, maintaining good cooperation with Huawei, and gaining public support and recognition, according to a research report. European and American countries have a high dependence on communication equipment from Chinese companies such as Huawei, with the dependence rate being 72% in the Netherlands, 59% in Germany, and 41% in the UK. Completely replacing equipment from Chinese companies would pose significant risks and losses to Europe's communication networks. Therefore, there are calls within the EU for a more rational and balanced approach, not blindly following the US approach, but formulating appropriate policies and standards based on their own interests and needs to ensure the security and development of Europe's communication.3. Huawei's challenges and breakthroughs in Europe Facing the complex situation in Europe, Huawei has not given up or retreated but actively responded and made breakthroughs. Huawei's challenges and breakthroughs in Europe are mainly reflected in the following aspects. 1. Insisting on innovation and investment, Huawei has been committed to the innovation and research and development of communication technology, constantly improving its technological strength and competitiveness. Huawei has established more than 20 R&D centers in Europe, with over 2,000 R&D personnel and an annual investment of hundreds of millions of euros in research and development funds. Huawei not only maintains its leadership in 5G technology but also explores and lays out prospective areas such as 6G, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, quantum sensing, etc. too. Actively participating in cooperation and communication, Huawei has been committed to maintaining good communication and exchange with European partners and stakeholders, actively responding to and addressing their concerns and questions, demonstrating its open and transparent attitude. Huawei also actively participates in various industry organizations and standard-setting bodies in Europe, contributing to the development and innovation of communication technology in Europe. Huawei also fulfills its social responsibility by supporting public welfare activities in education, culture, environmental protection, etc., gaining respect and trust from European society. Point 3. Insisting on localization, Huawei has over 20,000 employees in Europe, with over 70% being local staff. Huawei has established more than 20 R&D centers in Europe, collaborated with over 200 universities and research institutions in Europe, and formed partnerships with over 1,500 suppliers in Europe. Huawei's business and operations in Europe adhere to European laws and regulations, respect European culture and values, and have created significant value for the economic and social development of Europe. Point four. Continuous innovation and breakthroughs. In Europe, Huawei not only maintains a leading position in 5G technology but also explores and lays out prospective areas such as 6G, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, quantum sensing, etc. Huawei actively participates in the EU's flagship research and innovation programs, including 11 projects covering technologies such as artificial intelligence, 6G, cloud computing, quantum sensing, connectivity, and autonomous driving frameworks, Huawei has received research and development funding of 4 million euros, accounting for approximately 14%, or about 30.92 million yuan. This clearly demonstrates that Huawei's technological strength has been recognized and supported by the European Union. End conclusion. Huawei faces challenges and breakthroughs in Europe in the competition between 5G and 6G.
The development of Huawei in Europe is not only related to Huawei's own interests, but also to the progress and competitiveness of communication technology in Europe and the cooperation and trust between China and Europe. The future of Huawei in Europe presents both challenges and opportunities, requiring joint efforts from Huawei and Europe to create value together. As Huawei's founder Rin Jingfei said, we are not here in Europe to grab money, we are here to create value in Europe.